All right, guys, this story just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Last night, I'm sure as you know, JStation put out a video very late, around 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where he claims to clear everything up in the video. And he literally legitimately cries in this video. Like, sure, the first video he puts out on his girlfriend Alexia dying from a drunk driving accident, that was fake crying. Those were fake tears. Very obvious. Everyone reported on that. However, in this latest video, it was extremely legit, um, the tears coming down his face. He even talks about how he was treated very improperly by his parents as a child, um, stating that he was abused, leading us to believe that his actions on the two females that have left him most recently, claiming to have also been abused, are possibly telling the truth. I don't know. He also says in the video, and shows in the video, police knocking on his door, saying that he has a warrant out for his arrest for assault with a... I don't even think I can say it on YouTube. So... I, I, I It was very believable. The, the tears were believable. Uh, Alexia leaving him was believable. His life being, like, ruined and then saved by YouTube was believable. But there was one thing about the video that wasn't believable, and I I didn't want to I didn't want to comment on it because I didn't really know about the Canadian laws. But he says in the video that Canadian police can't arrest you if they have a warrant out for your arrest if you're on your own property, which doesn't make any sense at all. Because if anyone's a threat to any society, you better bet they'll knock your door down and take you out by your underwear if they have to. Heck, doesn't even matter if you're wearing underwear. The point is, he claims in the video that he's like gonna remain in his house until his lawyers deal with it, because if he leaves his property, he's getting arrested. Well, it had people thinking and looking into this, and then Newsweek just released an article. News, uh, a publisher for New Newsweek is actually in touch with me on Twitter. Uh, and wants to do further articles. However, an article was just released on uh, on Newsweek stating that Newsweek got in touch with Toronto police, which is where Jay's brand new apartment is located, loft or penthouse, whatever you want to call it, where he does all his videos. And to my dismay, to my shock, Toronto police confirmed there is no warrant out for his arrest. So was this policeman hired or bribed or fake? I don't know. And I'm concerned and I'm freaking out and I'm going to be looking into this further and we'll update you guys on this channel. So let me know your thoughts below. But I just don't know what to believe anymore from Jay because I really wanted to believe him and I really felt bad for him at certain points during that video. Because if anybody has dealt with heartbreak, it's it can be miserable. Breakups in general. So just let me know what you think, and I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.